Let's talk about Alphabet. What do you see in the Google chart? Okay, well, for, I, I did this a couple of days ago and it has subsequently come down to that downtrend line. Uh, it traded just below 90 yesterday or right around there. And what it did was it filled a little gap that was down there around 92, um, which you can't really see on this chart because I've drawn the line so thick. But um, I, what I like is the stock is now quite out of favor. Nobody really likes it. You know, used to be people would say, oh, Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon. And they never mentioned Alphabet anymore. Um, I like that it's down at support. Uh, I like that it filled a little gap. And so I think in terms of the price being right to buy it, the timing may require a, a little bit of patience because generally speaking, when tech, when tech stocks that have been hot fall out of favor, it takes a while for people to want to rotate back into them. And Chris, one of our members is asking about the recent move in Google and, and Microsoft and whether ChatGPT is more than a short-term hype for Microsoft. What, what do you think about the recent move and, and what happened with Google and the impact on Microsoft? Yeah, so you know, if we look at the longer term picture, there's obviously been a concern about overall uh, advertising spend. That is you know, the bread and butter for Google's business. And, and it speaks to the very thing about Microsoft and their move with chat GPT because micro, uh, sorry, Google has something like 92, 93% market share in the search engine business. Microsoft's Bing has something like two, three, four percent so the, the concern here is that with chat uh, GPT, Microsoft can uh, reinvigorate Bing and perhaps start eating away at Google's uh, search market share, eating into their advertising dollars. But I, I think what we've seen uh, over the last few days a after all the flurry of activity is that this is not you know, a one and done type of move. You know, we do know that uh, Google is going to incorporate its own AI technology. They did have a little flub last week, but, they, but then again, this was more of a beta product that they were kind of showcasing. I, I would not rule Google out. Uh, you know, my longer term concern about all of this as we have other folks like JD.com, Alibaba, Ooh. and others uh, incorporate AI and you know chat GPT like functionality into what they do is that it, it's kind of, it does it level the playing field so that market shares start to stabilize right there might be a point or two or a few points of shift in the short term but to us it's the longer term trend that's going to matter on this so we're, we're going to have to watch and see how this all develops but you know I do like what Helene is saying here about Google and I do think it's it's potentially washed out that's interesting to me.